Okay, so on to the dinner portion. Um, I have a really hot pot here, sauce pot. Um, whatever your favorite chicken stock, doesn't matter. This is like a no name. I don't even know what brand it is. I'm gonna take two cups of chicken stock or chicken broth. Like they do, they are different. Chicken broth is made from um, the meat and chicken uh, stock is made from the bones. Anyway, um, watch your face there. Um, we'll let that come up to a simmer, but as that's heating, and it shouldn't take too long, I'm just gonna add um, just a knob of butter, like about, not even quite a tablespoon. Um, and a pinch of uh, salt. So like, okay, a pinch in the culinary world. Hmm. Okay, my kind of a pinch is, <laughs> is like a teaspoon. Um, so anyways, and a bit more maybe. And then over the shoulder for good luck. Um, I'm gonna add some bay leaves because I like to add um, that sort of level of um, flavor. If you grab them and they're like half pieces, add two. If they're big full ones, add one. So we'll let this come to a, um, a simmer and then I will add um, one cup. I'm using two different measuring cups because see here I did the stock in this one. Well now it's wet, right? So when I put in the dry quinoa in here, um, it's gonna stick to the sides. So, um, anyways, I don't even know if I talked about that yet, if, what we're gonna make, but we're gonna make quinoa. So, I'm gonna add a cup of this quinoa, which is a fantastic product. And um, it's actually one of the only things in the world that makes a complete protein. So if you are vegetarian or vegan, you know all about quinoa. Um, it's a really, it's tasty. I love it. It's got this like earthy, nutty, like not, I wouldn't say meaty, <laughs> but it's really, it's satisfying. It's really good. I eat it as a grain more so, but you can eat it like literally a pot of quinoa and it is as good for you as a steak minus the iron, <laughs> but okay. It's hard to explain. That's a whole different like segment. Um, but quinoa is a great, um, complete protein by itself. So otherwise you need like to have a green and a legume or a bean, um, to mix together to make a, a complete protein. Um, anyways, I could really go off about that, but we will stop here. Now it's simmering. I'm going to, um, just turn off the heat put on the lid and let it go for, I don't know, I'm just gonna forget about it until I'm done the rest of my um, dinner tonight. So what else I'm going to make is um, a grilled uh, eggplant and peppers and um, fresh tomatoes and cucumbers and onions and uh, feta cheese. It's gonna be like um, um, a Mediterranean, sorry. <laughs> A Mediterranean um, a dish. It's gonna be really good. So I think, but we'll just see here. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna prep the eggplant. I want to grill it tonight. Um, the weather's really beautiful out there, so why not? Now, um, I already have my barbecue preheating. Uh, I would do it on high like where I live it's always windy or at least it always seems like it's windy and I hate it <laughs> but whatever I can't do anything about it so um I just the grill always goes on high maximum and I just work with it from that point so um I'm just going to anyways cut this into about ooh, half inch coins um if that's what you want to call it so We will also grill up some um, onion. Okay, that's really pretty. My favorite way, let's see here, that's better. Um, my favorite way to cut up onion, 
this is right back to like knife skills, like week one of culinary school. But anyways, you have your full onion, you lay it down sideways, so the root is at one end and the, the other parts at the other end there, and you go like this. You flip it around and you cut off the root, and you discard of that, or save it for um, stock, like put it in a Ziploc bag, and, um, or grocery bag or whatever, and save it for stock. And then at this point, so you have your top off, your bottom off, um, and then just cut it down the middle, and just get off the, um, the peels here. So then now you have an onion to work with. And we're good. So I am just going to grill this. Now I'm just gonna go like this. I want to have big pieces to grill. And again with this side. Now besides the um, eggplant and onion, I already cut up a little bit of um, pepper, red, yellow, orange, green, whatever you want or whatever you have in your fridge is fine. Um, and the rest I'm going to do fresh. So fresh tomato garnish, fresh cucumber garnish, um, some crumbled feta cheese. It's going to be really good. Um, so I'm going to start grilling this. Okay, so also, um, before you continue, like put your bag of quinoa away, put your carna chicken stock away in the fridge, put your, um, little bit of bay leaves or whatever your bag or jar or whatever you have a bay leaves put it away clean up as you go um it's cook makes cooking so much more fun okay so it's on the grill and we are going to just season it a little bit of salt don't be shy I have like um, an Italian seasoning, so it's got it's a good it's a good mix. Um, oregano, rosemary, marjoram, sage. Um, I don't know. They're probably all a little bit different, but anyways, it's gonna be really good, especially with um, the feta cheese and the grilled vegetables. Um, some pepper. And then some garlic. And everybody knows I hate these bags of spice or seasoning or whatever. Dehydrated vegetables. Um, but that's great. So now I'll let this go. Um, <laughs> uh, for like five minutes. I'll close the lid, let it go for five minutes. And then... Um, We'll take it off and then the quinoa should be ready and then we can plate up super fast okay so i'm also gonna make um a grilled almost like a flatbread i guess um this is some old bread dough that i had in the fridge not too old uh two three days ago um and i just put it in a zip top bag and because i didn't make a loaf out of it i didn't um uh, make buns out of it. I just I didn't know what I wanted to do with it I put it in a zip top bag and I put it in my fridge and anyways, I'm going to Put it on the barbecue. It'll be really good with the quinoa and um, grilled uh, vegetables So notice how I'm not even like I'm just letting gravity do its thing here So I'm grabbing it and I'm holding it as I'm talking <laughs> How convenient so um, Anyway, I think that's good enough you could like do the whole stretchy thing or whatever if you want, um, but I think that's great. So I'm gonna lay it on the barbecue, let it go for, I don't know, five minutes on each side. No, five minutes total. Um, and um, I'm not gonna edit this video. <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be so good. I'll put some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Good enough. I have the zucchini and the onions and peppers off the grill now. Um, let's go check on the pizza dough or flatbread. A little bit of oil. 
little bit of salt. Pepper I forgot inside. We'll do that after. Um, anyways, it's ready to be flipped. I already put it on here for, um, is it ready? Oh yeah, she's ready. Okay, and it looks so good. Be careful with your hands here. So tasty. again okay so um one minute and that thing's done okay so while the flatbread is finishing on the grill um we can plate up the rest of it because the flatbread is just kind of like a finishing touch right so we have a nice little beautiful um platter this is my grandmother's platter um i was gifted this or inherited this um I like to think about her old hands holding this when I serve food on it, so it's pretty cool. Um, anyways, I have my quinoa. It's all done. It's kind of steaming and beautiful. Can you see it steaming? Kind of. Okay, so we'll put it on here. That is a bad camera angle. Um, we'll go <laughs> like this. This is a challenge in itself. Okay, so something like that. Okay, and there's a couple bay leaves in there. Do you remember that? Um, we should try to fish them out. Although I heard this funny thing um, in Italian like culture, they'll keep the bay leaves in like a spaghetti sauce or whatever, and then pass it around. And whoever scoops it onto their dish, it has good luck for I don't know the year. Or who knows? But that's kind of fun. So I'll take it out though um, today. I'll take out one. Okay, we'll see who gets the good luck um, bay leaf. So, mm, super good. Love quinoa. Now, we'll take our eggplant, our grilled eggplant. And it's quite like pliable, like mushy. It's really hot right now, so don't do this. But um, take your eggplant, cut it in half. And I'm just going to um, chop it. Kind of a rough chop there. And let's see. There we go. And we'll lay it on top. Okay. So yummy. So healthy. And as you let the eggplant rest, it also like releases its juices because it seems kind of spongy and dry at first. That's good. Either you like eggplant or you don't. So you can replace it with whatever you want. Zucchini is one of my favorites. Um, anyways, we also have some peppers. It was already small enough, so we'll do a quick chop on that. And it was kind of just more for color. Okay. And then we got some grilled onion. Again, just a quick chop. And what else here? I want to add a fresh element to this. So I have, I already chopped up some um, fresh tomatoes. I think we need like a bird's eye view here. One sec. Okay, so fresh tomatoes. And then we'll do the cucumbers too. So I take a cucumber, I cut it in half, and then I cut it in half again. So then when you slice it, it's like, let me show you like this here once. You get little pieces, right? So. We'll just go quick chop on top and then we want to season. Oh, I got to get that bread. One sec on the barbecue. Okay, this thing is perfection. So that's exciting. Um, I'll put it down and I'll finish what I was doing. So, um, one sec. Okay. I want to take a bit of, um, hmm. okay, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. It's going to go really well with the quinoa and all the vegetables. Um, a little bit of salt, and then I'll do some pepper. 
but I can't do that one-handed. Okay, and then I want to add, I'm getting excited about this. I want to add a good chunk of like feta. So I have a chunk of feta cheese. I'll put it on top, just crumble it. And maybe a bit more because, okay, it looks crazy from that view, but <laughs> just one sec, it's not. <laughs> well, I gotta wash my hands one sec, or at least rinse them. This isn't a proper wash here. Okay, so, check this out. So good. Um, I'll plate some up here and we'll serve it with this bread, which looks fantastic. I'm so excited about the bread. Um, I think we're done actually. So maybe you can try it. Maybe you don't. And, um, hopefully you had fun watching. <laughs> okay. So this is how I am going to plate it. Um, we'll take a big scoop right from the bottom with the quinoa as the base. And, uh, oh yeah, it looks so good. Okay, I'm really excited about this. Now, so with a couple um, pieces of the grilled flatbread. And I am excited to try this. So, let's see here. I don't know. Okay, there's some eggplant. You want to get a bit of, when you try something for the first time, always try to get like, this is like kind of a trick. Get a little bit of everything. So I got some feta, I got some cucumber, I got some eggplant, I got some quinoa. And then, okay. And then add the bread into the mix. It, you can't go wrong. Uh, you gotta try this. If you want help and I wasn't clear enough, probably not. Message me. 